Hi and welcome to our next video on Toe Looper. Uh, just a reminder that all the Afrikaans made simple books are now available at CNA and they're also at Bargain Books uh, in KZN. If you want to grab a copy, um, it will solve a lot of time and effort for, for yourself and also some money. If you're paying for extra lessons, you don't need to just get the book, <coughs> work through it. And you'll be fine. Going on to our poem Tolope. Um, yeah, quite a. We've been doing this one for for a while, and um, it doesn't mean that they can't ask it. You might get a test on it as well. So it's worth spending some time on it. Um, you'll see here that I have the poem for you. Yeah, the original poem. There is the um, the translation. And then over here are those notes that you really want to uh, take note of. These notes are all possible questions that they can ask in tests or an exam. So I tried to guess what they would ask, and uh, <coughs> there's only so much they can they can ask to because they only have ten marks that they can cover. So it's worth uh, studying for poems and collecting your marks. Cool. So let's go through the. The poem, yeah, it's a tow looper as a, as a rope walker, those guys who balance on those ropes be between um, buildings or or over a canyon or whatever it might be. And there's always that risk that they may fall. Okay, so that's the metaphor, the overriding metaphor that we're dealing with here in tow looper. It says there, <coughs> excuse me. Die storms woed weer in ons huis vandag. Die storms, storms are woed is raging in our house again today. Okay, so weer is happening again and it's happening in our house today. Maar vol durf klim ek op die tou, but full of uh, courage. I'm very brave and I get onto this rope. This is a teenager talking. Fuiki for fuiki, skyfall ek voor en toe. Foot by foot, small step by small step, I shuffle, skyfall, uh, voor en toe. Verby die verweid winde, past these winds of resentment. Okay? Then we get, got some words in italics. Het jy alweer? Have you done it again? Ek het moos gesê. I've told you this before. Wat het jy gedoen? What have you done? Okay, so it's italic words there. Then, gekwelde oor, kyk vir my van duur onder. Worried eyes, concerned eyes. Look at me from way below. Do honor. Okay. Far verweider van my kollig balanceertrik. These eyes are far removed. Far away. Far away. From my spotlight balancing trick. I'm on the rope. My toe web. And mira in dear ans fatsels. My my rope, it's not a typical rope, it's just a singular rope. It webs. This, this rope makes like a web between various aspects in the house. Okay? It says between walls in dear ans fatsels, mira in dear ans fatsels, door handles. It webs between family photos. And calendars, almanaka. It webs between flashing TV images and internet connections and internet connexies. Taught by the tain hack. Okay, so the web stretches up to the garden gate. So if you've got this teenager walking a, a tightrope um, over her or his house, okay, way below, there are the parents looking up with concerned eyes. You've got this web of rope. Um, 
connecting various parts of the household. So just get that mental picture in your head. Ek is hoog boor die grond. I'm high above the ground. Weg van alles behalve die wind. Away from everything except except is behalve die wind. Maar ek dink nie daaraan nie. I don't think about it. I don't think about it. Ek hou my oog op die to. I keep my eye on the rope. I stay focused. Ek balanceer my lewe. I balance my life. Foot vir foot skryf ek voor en toe. Okay, so foot by foot, step by step, I shuffle forward. Okay, dear the storm. I go through this storm that was mentioned in the in the first line. Okay, you'll also notice there that fuiki for fuiki changes to foot for foot. Slight difference in, in the words there. But we'll look at the meaning in the notes. I've got notes on all of this for you right here. Okay, so going on. I think we'll use blue here. Okay, so the title is a, a rope walker, a tightrope walker. <coughs> it means iemand wat um, op het touw loop om te balanceer. Okay, to balance it's some sort of uh, trick, if you like, uh, to attract a crowd. It's a skill. Okay, so this is a teenager. I don't think we can tell whether it's a boy or a girl. So it could be either, but I think let's just say it's a girl just to, to for the sake of the pronouns in our notes. Here is it a teener. But all the uitdagings van haar lewe balanceer. It's a teenager that balances all the challenges, uitdagings, challenges of her life. She's trying to balance out all the different demands on her life. Okay, from school, from parents, from friends, from sport, from church, from different aspects of her life. Home life, especially here. Uh, Okay, we'll see that things at home, yeah, is far from ideal. Okay, and we see that, proof of that in the very first line. It talks about storms. <coughs> so every time I'll just link a word there. So storms, these storms are figurative. Okay, and I think it's safe to say that the storms here are referring to argumenta tisini oas. It's referring to arguments between the parents okay but i suppose it could also be the storms could also be pressure from teachers it could be um portier is uh, peer pressure okay but most specifically it is these storms are in the household so while these other problems might find their way into the house okay it's the it's the the conflict between the parents that will be the most obvious explanation. Uh, I'm just going to say the um, conflict as well. Conflict. It's conflict between between the parents. They it's not going well in that um, in that marriage or that partnership. Okay. It also say It says distor. This is a specific storm. This is not just a general metaphor for any kind of problem okay so it's a specific i took a note here it says it's a specific storm specific type of storm where you speak again she knows this storm she's seen it before okay she is trying to escape it by getting high on this rope okay so d storm so they could ask something about the d just, if you write that i'm i'm pretty sure you'll get the mark okay uh, interesting that the storm is in the ice. Okay, 
It's in the house. Storms are supposed to be outside. It's gewoonlijk buiten. So the irony there, that would be the question, is the irony is a house is for the a plek van stilte and rest to wees. The house is for the stel, supposed to be a place of quiet and rest, of tranquility and peace. Okay, but yeah, it's not. There's a storm inside the house. That also shows us that it's a, a figurative storm. It's not a literal storm. It's come through the um, comes through the roof or something. All right, and then all, again, this first line is very rich in meaning. Um, if I can just find my cursor, there we go. Veer, again, it's raging in our house. Again, it, what does that show? Obviously, that these arguments are, are happening continuously. It's always happening. It's unholdent. It continues to happen. Uh, it gebeur gereeld. It, it happens often. She's very familiar with this type of uh, storm. Okay. It's a devil that she knows very well. Okay. Then there's this uh, W alliteration as well in the first line. So there's a lot here in the first line. I promise not every line is like this. You get this, uh, if we can just get a purple there, W. Oof. That doesn't work. Uh, there's a W, W alliteration. Okay. Um, that's a, a, a W is a, is a sound that you make with air, where the air leaves the, leaves the front of the mouth. Um, so it's a, it's a blowing sound. V, okay. Almost like a storm wind that is blowing outside. So, <laughs> might, it's a bit far, might be a bit far-fetched, but if you write that, I'm sure they will appreciate your creativity. Okay, interesting, yeah. Freaky for freaky. This little, there's the diminutive of foot, eh? And scaffold. Okay, that, it's baby feet, eh? Small little steps. Okay, so it could have two meanings. Here's the first one. It's a kinsefuta. Okay, this, it either says that the narrator, she's been on this, getting on this rope since she was a child. So this, this uh, storm, this kind of storm has been happening since childhood. All right. Uh, the other one is, shows, the other meaning is that she is very hesitant initially. Baie heiverig. And then later, it becomes foot for foot there. Okay, and skuif. Where there is skuifel. Skuifel is more hesitant. Skuif is more confident. Fuiki for fuiki is hesitant. Foot for foot is more confident. So she's learning to negotiate the storm with confidence. She's meeting this problem with confidence. Okay, so... There's two, just watch out for the, that double meaning. They'll definitely go for, for this. I've seen it in papers. Okay. So there's two meanings. So it's either kinse foote, die argumente gaan al vir jare aan. It's been going on for years. Or, <coughs> so she's very hesitant. Um, later she has more self vertrouwe There with foot for foot. Okay. So it links to, to that as well. Okay. So it is a very nice one. Also, there's uh, in fashion there, um, there's changing around of word order. Uh, the the freaky for freaky comes first in that sentence. Do you see there? Okay. Normal stompy word structure will be subject first. So it'll be ak will normally come first. Ak sky for freaky for freaky for into. Freaky for freaky is the manner. So they're starting the sentence with the manner. Why? Well, it's because the focus, her focus are on her feet. She's focusing on balancing. Very hesitant. Focusing on on, on, on her feet. So there's the note there. It says, um, so focus, 
op haar voeten en haar balans. She focuses on her feet and her balance, not on herself and her problems necessarily. She's just, at the beginning of the poem, she just wants to stay on the road. And she's hardly moving forward. However, at the end, she's more confident and she's taking bigger steps. Okay, then the word scaffold, I just took a note there. Uh, it's, it's a very hesitant movement. So by a heiverige beweging, she say twijfel in, in herself. There's doubt in, in her, she's doubting herself, definitely. Later that changes, it verander na skuif. That's more, meer self -vertrouwen. There is progression in the poem. Okay. So it's definite progression. So they might phrase the question around the word progression of ontwikkeling. Okay. Development. There is a clear development in the poem. Ontwikkeling. Right. What are these verweid winde? She's walking past this word, these, these winds of resentment. Okay. You could safely say, die winde is kritiek en probleme wat die tiener van balans kan gooi. It is criticism and problems that can gooi throw the teenager off balance, off balance. Okay, for that, it could be resentment that she has towards the parents. It could be resentment that the parents have towards her. Um, it's not exactly clear. Then very interesting is, or noteworthy, um, perhaps not interesting, are these uh, words, yeah, that are in cursive, skynstruck of cursive, that's what it uh, is called in, um, just, here's for a uh, Why is it in cursive? Well, it's, it sound, it looks like the direct words of somebody, could be the, possibly the direct words of the parents, word of an ours, okay, interesting that they lack it's like phrase. It's like parts of a sentence. They're not complete sentences. That could be because she's high up on the rope and she's only catching um, phrases or parts of phrases that um, that the parents are saying. Um, also, that she's heard it before, so she doesn't even bother listening to to what they're saying. Also, she's so focused. Okay, so the, the, I said it here. The speaker is gefocus op die tou. She's focused on the on the on the rope, and she's trying to keep her balance. So she's not really um, listening to the, the criticism, uh, critique. Okay, so it can also be the 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 criticism and negativ negativity of the parents and the teachers. Those words, gekwelde oor, worried eyes. Gekwelde, another word is bekommerd. Bekommer de oor van die ouders. Okay. Yet they are more, still, they're worried about this teenager. Yet they are still focused on arguing with each other. They self-absorbed to the, uh, more worried about their own interests than that of the, of the teenager that's trying to negotiate this balancing act. Okay. So I wrote that they toch is hulle meer behep. They're more obsessed with arguing with each other. Okay, then there's duur onder. Um, Gekwelde oor is there. Then we have duur onder far below. So this rope is very high. Why is it so high? Well, the higher the rope is in one of these tricks, the more impressive the trick is. Okay, if you could potentially fall to your death, then more people would want to see it. Um, so the risk, risk is great. It's very dangerous. So there's a lot at stake for a teenager. If you if you fail, there's there's a lot of risk. There's a lot of hurt and um, disappointment that could come your way. All right. She's fair for Vader. These worried eyes are far removed from my balancing trick. It shows that although 
parents can support teenagers, the teenager must do everything alone, essentially. You must go in and write the exam. You must deal with your peers. You must be on the sports field. You must put in all the practice and effort. The parents can only... There's only so much they can do, really. Um, teenager, is far, you're actually far removed. You're very, it's a very uh, lonely pursuit in many ways. Negotiating the challenges of um, of being a teenager. So, teenager with our eidachungs in problem is self overcome. She must um, overcome, overcome eidachungs, challenges and problems all by herself. Okay. Kollig balanceer trick. Interesting way, interesting ch choice of words. It's a spotlight balancing trick. Um, it just shows that everyone's eyes are on the teenager. Ready for you, almost ready for you to make a mistake or ready for you to give criticism. There's a lot of pressure. Okay. The, the chance of failure places pressure on you. There's pressure pressure to excel in every facet of your busy life as a as a high school teenager. Um, so if you say something like that there then it should be fine. So all the aspects of our life is moeilijk om te hanteer. It's like a trick. Okay, you almost have to pull off some miraculous trick to not to fail. Okay, then it says may though. Okay, it's Maito, it's my rope, not not Dito, Maito. Okay, shows that the challenges are hers. Say Niem, or she tries to take responsibility for her own life. She say probeer, say Niem verantwoordelike vir haar eie lewe. She tries to take responsibility of her life. Okay, it doesn't say the rope. And this thing is interesting. I don't know. I'm convinced that this is a successful metaphor. Because this rope, making a web between all these things here, all these things here in the house. It's a hard, to me it's a difficult men mental picture to form. I just had this picture of the rope going over the house and to the garden gate. But now it makes a web. I suppose it just means that um, her life, all the aspects of her life are interconnected. They, everything affects everything when you're a teenager. Everything, almost anything can throw you off balance. If one aspect is missing, it affects the rest. But it's just, to me, it's a hard mental image to form. I'm not sure what, what, um, what the poet was thinking there. Uh, maybe I'm missing something that your teacher can just fill in there. Uh, so the, the web, okay, the aspect of our life is all forbid. So I just said there, the aspects of our life are all connected. However, a web also has a very negative connotation. It's like a web, you talk about a web of lies or, or you get stuck in a, a web of, of problems. Okay, so in that, obviously the, the spider sort of metaphor where you get caught in a spider's web. Okay. Uh, Maar kan haar ook vastvang soos a spinnekopse web. So there are two meanings there for web. Okay. It means everything is interrelated. Like if you touch the one part of a spider's web, everything moves. But also you get stuck in a web. It's sticky. Um, you, you get tied out. Because you're trying to get out of this web. Okay, so that is... An interesting one, web. Um, I thought about it referring to the internet, but I don't think it's. I don't think that's plausible for this poem. It's a bit, a bit of a stretch. Enumeracy. So it's an opnum, yeah. We talk. It's walls, door handles, family photos, calendars, flashing TV images, internet connections. It's a opnum. It's a. Um, List, enumeracy, is a listing of objects in the house. The mirror, the ranswitzels, and so forth. She can see everything from the top. She can all this from above. Seen 
Het geeft die lezer die perspectief van die spreker. Het so geeft ons als de reader een nice perspective of what the narrator is seeing. What is this girl seeing from the top? And where is she going? She's going to this place, the Tain Hack, and they're going to find it hard to leave that out if they're asking this poem. What is this Tain Hack? Okay. So her tool is some funny over to flee. Her goal, or tool, is to flee or escape from her over house, her parent house, parental house, and her circumstances. Okay. But she is trying to rise above her circumstances. Stay eight. So you can they could ask what does this gate symbolize then? It becomes a symbol of her freedom. Freiheit. The hack van the rest van haar leven. A bit of the So it's, it's like the gate, gate to the rest of her life. A better future. If you like. So there's a few options. Just pick one and learn it. Okay, now, again, they, they mentioned the wind. Here, it was a... Uh, it was winds of uh, resentment. Yeah, it's just a wind. So I'm not sure whether the wind is now becoming something positive. I think it is. It's now becoming something positive. It's, it's not these resentment winds anymore. Maybe it's the type of winds that will sort of give her wings. Geoflak, it gives her wing, wind underneath her uh, wind underneath her wings. Uh, it helps her to fly, helps her, helps her to be free. So maybe the, the wind also becomes sort of a, um, a symbol of freiheit, of freedom. Okay. And then she says she doesn't think about it. She's away from everything, but she doesn't think about it. There's the wind. Okay. Numerosi is the air. Sorry. Uh, web is the air. Okay. I think Nidara Ani just says she doesn't think about it. Think about what? Think about what? What is she not thinking about anymore? Um, it could be the say the negativity of being a teenager, the negative things. Um, it could be the pressure of the parents, it could be their arguments. It seems like there is clear progress. Or Stalika Bruchesi. Uh, she's getting better and better at negotiating all these challenges that comes with being a teenager. She says, I keep my eyes on the rope. It's like, I keep my eyes on the prize. She's very focused. She's focused on her goal. She's very focused on her goal. She um, balanced her eight days and successful. There's a, there's a strong element of success here. She's balancing and negotiating her challenges successfully. So her perspective on her problems. She's keeping perspective on all her problems. They fall not from the toe off. She does not fall off this rope and get hurt. Okay. Again, here's that uh, that line, that powerful line, foot for foot. Uh, she's step by step. She's now confidently negotiating this this rope. Um, success in outcomes is banal break. This garden gate, okay, her freedom, outcomes um, and an out. What is outcomes? It's a, it's an outcome, a, a, a place of freedom, is now within her reach. So it's now over in Weiser. She's now older and she's wiser than she was when she still had small feet. Remember, yeah, she had freaky for freaky. She when she was a little girl. Okay, it was hard to deal with. However, now it's it's she's much more confident. Okay. Uh, I just said they scaife. She's now scaife, say scaife. They it's not, it's not scaffold anymore. Scaffold implies hesitance, uh, doubt. Okay, now it's more confident. And look at this. She's going through the storm. She's going, dear the storm. 
powerful message there that you can't always go around the storm or avoid the storm or avoid the problem. Sometimes you just have to smash through or balance your way or negotiate your way through the storm. Nie om die storm, nie dier die storm. Sy sê loop dier die storm, nie om die storm nie. Sy is sterker, sy is slimmer, sy is wijzer, sy is stronger, sy is smarter, sy is wazer. Op pad na die vryheid van die tuine. Sy is on her way to the freedom of the garden gate. Again, like all the other poems, there's no rhyme, it's a free verse effect here. Poet is just writing whatever they want, yeah, there's no structure. Um, it fits with the chaos of a teenager's life. It pas by the chaos van a teenager's life. That is full storms and problems. It's full of storms and problems. So that structure, that, that uh, typography definitely fits in with the theme of the poem. What is the theme? Okay. The teenager Urlief survives her difficult circumstances. Why? Omdat she keeps a healthy sort of balance in her life as much as she can. Okay. She, she faces the winds, the problems, the, the pressure that comes from elsewhere. Okay. I hope that helps with Tolupe. Uh, please add these notes to uh, the rest of your your poetry notes that you got from your teacher, and I'm sure you'll you'll nail this one quite comfortably. Hope that helps, and we'll chat soon. Please note, get our books from CNA. Please let your friends know also about these videos, so you can help them out as well. Awesome. We'll chat very soon. Bye.